Hi, my name is Richard Billups. I'm the laboratory director for air allergen and mold testing. Welcome. Previously, we were talking about taking the dust that comes from a home, a business, or a church and putting it on some specialized auger plates here at the lab. And we have three different plates that we use. These plates are meant to isolate what are called species of fungi. One of them, a very important one, is called Aspergillus fumigatus. This is an organism that is known to be responsible for over 99% of all what's known as invasive aspergillosis. And this is where these fungal spores infect the lung and you actually have to go to the hospital for treatment. We have several identifications like that of spores, of fungal spores to the species level that we have developed here at Air Allergen and in uh, cooperation with universities and other research facilities that we know are responsible for poor health in the indoor air. We have a listing of these spores and we use these to give you a rating as to if your indoor air is healthy or not, or if it is conducive to having respiratory distress. Over the last four years, we have added significantly, we feel, to the amount of research that has been uh, done in the indoor air to try to determine if an environment is healthy or not. One of the main tools that is used in the indoor air is called the spore trap. And what that does is measure the air right now that's occurring in your room. We also have what are called the culture plates. The culture plates are taking dust that comes from carpeting or other surfaces within uh, a room, a building, and analyzing that to a deeper level that's called the species level. Our research indicates that when we use the spore traps only to determine if a problem is occurring, we can resolve about 26% of the problems that we see in the indoor air related to respiratory distress. When we start adding in the carpet, if we get the carpet where we just get the number of spores that are there and we don't identify them, the number of colonies that come up, we can now solve about 51%. But when we do the best testing of all, which is taking these auger plates and identifying every type of fungus that's on there and enumerating them on top of that and taking the spore trap, we have come up with a formula where about 72% of all of our cases can be solved first time around without having to go back and look for more.